We have received requests from the audience regarding the product recommendations and secure payments. In this video, we will show you a powerful combo, VoiceFlow chatbot, dynamic product carousels, and Stripe integration all achievable with minimal coding. After following this demo, you will be able to update your product info directly from a Google Sheet or other databases, such as Airtable and Notion, for ultimate flexibility, showcase your products in a visually appealing way to grab user attention, and accept secure payments directly within your chatbot using Stripe's payment links. You will build this entire system with minimal coding knowledge, making it perfect for beginners. Let us go to Stripe dashboard. On the right top corner, click the plus button and select the payment link. The preview shows how the checkout window looks like. We add a new flower product with the name of Red Mandevilla. We add the description and price and upload the product image. Finally, we click the add product button. We see the product added, and the preview shows the information of the product. Do not forget to click the Create Link button. Now we are on the product page. Click the plus button to add another product. Repeat the same things to add as many products as you want. Here shows the payment links of four flower products that I have added. You can make a copy of their links for later use. Let us go to Voice Flow Canvas. We are going to build a demo chatbot for product recommendation and Stripe payment integration. Dynamic Carousel is a very good method to display and recommend the products to the user. When the user wants to buy a product, he can do so by just clicking the button. Let us drop a functions block onto the canvas. We will show you a new way to use a function provided by VoiceFlow to display products using dynamic carousels. Click the Create Function button, and in the drop-down, we select the dynamic carousel response. This function is from VoiceFlow, and ready, and very easy to use. Here we can see products, where we can input our products with title, description, image URL, and price. The carousel items need to be populated with individual product parameters, such as title, description, image URL, and price. Also, we have buttons with a type of open URL so the user can click to open another window to go to the product page of your website. We will put the Stripe payment link for the user to check out. The last part is to return the carousel to show products to the user. What we need to do is just input our products here. As shown, I have input my products. These are three flowers. Each has a name, content, price, Stripe payment link, and image URL. For the carousel items, we just need to input the name, content, price, and image URL corresponding to our product's name, content, price, and image URL. For the buttons, we simply add the Stripe payment link. The last part remains unchanged. That is it. Let us go back to the VoiceFlow canvas. In the functions block, we select the function we just created, dynamic carousel response. We use a text block to greet the user. I am the AI assistant of Farthink Flower Shop. What flowers do you want to buy? Next, we add two buttons, Live Flowers and Fresh Flowers. We connect the blocks and let us run a test. Let us click the Live Flowers. We can see a beautiful carousel showing three flower products. Each product has an image, product name, price, and description. There is also a buy product button. We want to buy this flower, pink hyacinth. Let us click the button. We are now on the Stripe checkout page. We can change the quantity and update it. The user can fill out the form with email address, card information, etc. and pay for the product. That is easy. If we want to buy another flower, we can click the button to do the same thing. The beautiful carousel and the checkout button work great. It is very easy to set up. All can be done in this simple functions block. What we need to do is only input the products. You can update each product or add more products here. Next, we will show you a better way to input products. Instead of manually entering the products, we can fetch the product data from a Google Sheet, Airtable, or Notion. As stated here, the product data can be fetched from a database or API. You can watch our previous videos on fetching data from Airtable and Notion. In the following, we will use Google Sheet as an example to show you how to update and fetch product data. I have a Google Sheet with four products. 
The columns are product name, content, price, strike payment link, and the image URL. On the voice flow canvas, we drop an API block. We populate the API URL and the parameters with corresponding values. For details, please watch our previous video on Google Sheet and Dynamic Carousel. We capture the response and extract the data to save it in the variable products. Next, we drop a set block on the canvas. We select the variable products and set its value to a string using a method of JSON string IFY. Let us go to the function. We put this line of code to extract the input variable from the arguments and save it in the products variable. On the right, we need to add an input variable with the name of products. Next, we use this code to parse the input string to an array containing the product data in JSON format. Now that we have fetched the product data from the Google Sheet, we can comment out these products. All others remain unchanged. In the functions block, we need to add the input variable products. So the data fetched from the Google Sheet can be passed to the function as an input variable. Now, let us run a test, and we see the beautiful carousel. It shows four flowers with an additional green plant, because we have four products in our Google Sheet. We click on the Buy Product button, and now we are on the Stripe checkout page. We can change the quantity and update it. Everything works perfectly. We click the button of the new flower. We do the same thing, and it works well. In summary, we have shown you how to use a new way of dynamic carousel to display products to the user and integrate the Stripe payment links. The product data can be fetched from a database or API. We have used Google Sheets as an example. The whole process is no or low code and very easy to set up. Hope this video helps. If you like this video, please subscribe and give a thumbs up. If you have any comments and suggestions, please let us know. Thank you for your support.